Hello everybody, Death Row here once again and today we are taking a look at a new system that is coming out with all the hype with all these classic systems that have been coming and going over so many months the disasters like the PlayStation Classic and the great releases of the SNES or SNES, the Nintendo Classic and the Mega Drive Classic coming uh, in September Capcom, one of the great arcade game creators, have done their own thing. That's right folks, you're hearing it here today, Capcom Home Arcade. It's going to come with 16 great games in, on the package, pre-installed. Now, some of these games we may not agree with, but that's not up to us, that's up to Capcom. Capcom do have quality games. Let's let's go down and have a look at the list here, folks. As it says here, celebrating a true champion of arcade gaming. Yes, that is very true. Now they're saying authentic gaming here. Yes, they have included Sanwa parts. Well, joysticks. Oh, I don't know about the buttons, and I think that's great. That's because it is a, a similar to a Pandora's box. One of those cheap and nasty Chinese made uh, arcade units that you can get off AliExpress or whatever it's called. But this is licensed. This is official. But one thing I'm not fond on is it's, it's running Final Burn Alpha. Yes, it will deliver an authentic and semi-accurate arcade experience. I want to see what the rest of the interface is like. I want to see if I'm able to add my own games. Now that's interesting. If we can add our own games, this thing's going to be a beast. <laughs> it's going to be pricey. Nobody knows what the price is. And, and look, it also has Wi-Fi. I mean, what other of these classic type systems has Wi-Fi built in? None. Capcom have beaten everyone to the punch. Let's go down. Here's the 16 classic arcade titles. 1944, Alien vs Predator, Armored Warriors, Capcom Sports Club, Captain Commando, Cyberbots, Full Metal Madness, Darkstalkers. I can't quite read the writing there. It's a bit small for me. My old eyes. Echo Fighters, Final Fight. Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh yes. Giga Wing. Mega Man, the Power Battle, Pro Gear, Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting, Strider, and Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Now let's let's look at these titles here, folks. What do you see that's wrong with this list? Yes, exactly. I know what you're thinking. Why have I added Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting when there are better Street Fighter 2 titles? And Super Puzzle Fighter 2, uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. I personally would have, It's a. don't get me wrong, it's a bloody great selection that they've got on this, this device. But I think the Street Fighter 2 version is wrong. I think Champion Edition, or Championship Edition, whatever, could have been better. But they're trying to put a bit of everything on there, I can see that. But I just think Hyper Fighting is the wrong choice. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, yes, that is brilliant, no no doubt about it, I would have liked Ghosts and Goblins as well, but are they doing this to be fair to Arcade 1-Up, another, another thing that's been produced is, is these mini arcade units, and they're not trying to cross paths, look, Ghosts and Goblins isn't there, and the other Street Fighter 2 is not there, so... I'm guessing that that could be. Even though they hold the licenses to this, I think they're playing fair. But that's the titles, folks. You know, the, remember, remember, this is my opinion. Here we go. How it works. The buttons aren't clear. I've heard reports people saying the buttons are clear. They're not. They're actually coloured within what the control pa panel colour is. You can see it. Okay. Simply plug and play. That's that's what people want. Plug and play. Connect the supplied HDMI cable from your Capcom Home Arcade to your TV. 
and the supplied USB cable to a USB power supply and turn it on. So that's going to be the run of the mill type thing like the other ones use. Oh, you can pre order and launches 25th of October 2019. There is no official price yet, and I think that's sad. I would like to have seen a price. I mean, I, I don't want to pre order something and it ends up being 500 bucks. But my guess it's going to be about anything from 150 to 200 US. So that's going to land me about 300 and something dollars. But you are getting quality, folks. You're getting Sanwa parts. Now, we don't know about the buttons. I didn't I didn't see it saying they were Sanwa buttons either. But don't forget you could probably interchange these. Hopefully it's easier to get inside. Like underneath. Uh, people might end up adding LED buttons and everything, but that's it folks. That's the Capcom Home Arcade. What a brilliant idea. Capcom have come to the party. I would have liked to have seen something like Forgotten Worlds on there as well, but I think you had to use a spinner or something if I remember correctly in the arcades, so wouldn't that be nice, a spinner in the centre there for player one? <laughs> player two can, can bugger off. Anyway folks, that's another video of Death Row today. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.